Hello guys, Extreme Tech here again with the sixth video of the UDK Advanced series and in this video I want to go over um, basically making some of your objects have physics so when you shoot them they move around and stuff like that so you can just add a little bit more of a interactive feel rather than objects just standing there and not doing much so I'm just going to show you what a normal static mesh is when you shoot it it does nothing and it just stands there and takes the bullets okay so what we're gonna do is make some KA actors what they do is that allows you to put physics on the static mesh of staff wanna go to our content browser and I'm just gonna look for a nice uh, static mesh and I'm just gonna look for something called box oh, or crate even Let's see. Okay, we've got a nice, lovely crate here. Let's drop that into our level. You're probably thinking that's not a KA actor, and you can see it's just floating. We never ever want our objects to float. So what we want to do is you want to right-click on it and press Edit using Static Mesh Editor. There's a few things you can change in here to mess around with before you go into changing it into a rigid body and a KA actor so first of all you want to make sure it's got a collision model so if you go up here in the top left corner there is a few settings there is 6 DOP uh, 10 DOP basically what that is is like uh, like how good the collision model is going to be uh, so like 26 is going to be better and 6 is going to be worse like if you have a whole load of objects with 26 it's gonna it might press on the performance slightly so I'm gonna select this and just press yes to replace it okay and now you'll see that like pretty much nothing's changed we just wanna make sure our collision is working so just press this button up here and you can see we got the green lines of our collision working perfectly fine so let's just close that and drag that into the game so I'm just gonna delete it from there quickly and I'm gonna right click and do add actor rigid body opposed to the normal static mesh that we do some of you might be thinking it'll be an interpret actor because that's what we use in Matini because uh, Matina even because you can move it around but no we're gonna use a rigid body so I go and stick that up in the air and then start the game you'll see that it has that it's still in the up in the air but when you shoot it it's gonna start moving around but we want it to work as soon as the game starts we want to right click it and go to KA Actor Properties and over here you've got a few settings such as damage applies impulse basically what that means is when you shoot it it will move like uh, you saw just then there's wake on level start and that is basically what it does is it makes it uh, like active as soon as you start the game as you saw it was floating in the air straight away we somewhat really don't want that we want it to be uh, active as soon as you start rather than when we shoot it and that will eliminate some of the problems like floating objects whereas UDK doesn't always uh, fit objects in the ground properly I can't really show you an uh, example there because like uh, basically my alternative is just to put things underground slightly okay so let's go find our box again uh, when I go to K actor properties you saw a setting called max physics velocity what the velocity is is the uh, like ma is the maximum speed they can move at so the lower is means it's going to move slower uh, also in the content browser when we went to our static mesh editor you can change the mass so basically what that does is it changes the weight of the object which will also in uh, which will also affect how fast it moves and basically some of the physics so I'm gonna change this to something like 5 and then I'm gonna go ahead and press play and you'll see there's a big difference to how it goes and as you can see it's already dropped on the ground now so if I shoot that, it's a pretty sturdy box and it's not going to move. So let's just keep walking into that and you'll realize nothing's going to happen. So you want to, basically you want to have some rough guesses with K actors to get them just right. Because that's one thing with physics, you want to make sure you always get them right. So I'm going to change that to 2, so it's going to be twice as heavy as it usually is. And if I turn around and shoot it slightly, 
you'll see it now moves slightly but when I keep pushing it it's gonna go back to normal speed that's just due to acceleration anyone that's done any work with physics before uh, you, you'll know what that means also with KA actors you wanna make sure the lighting is always set to dynamic so rather than it not work uh, the lighting looking slightly tacky and stuff like that uh, it's gonna work just fine so there we go we've got all of our KA actor uh, properties and you'll have a working K actor so now you can just put stuff around let people shoot them uh, make target dummies whatever you want uh, that's about all I want to show in this video thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and look forward to the next one uh, which I'm going to make tomorrow which is going to be covering uh, custom material creation in Photoshop goodbye